Hello, welcome to Inside EV. Before starting our video, make sure you to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for instant notifications. Now let's get started. Today we will discuss the simple construction of the battery electric vehicle. As we have already seen in the last video that is types of electric vehicles, what is known as battery electric vehicle. You just recall it once. Didn't get it? No problem. Let me tell you again. If all the power required to drive a vehicle is supplied from energy storage system only in the form of electricity without using any fuel or internal combustion engine is known as battery electric vehicle. In other words a battery electric vehicle as a pure electric vehicle. Now we will see the major components required for the construction of battery electric vehicle. They are, battery pack, motors, inverters or converters, motor controllers, battery management system, battery cooling system. Now let us discuss about the battery pack. Battery pack is the most expensive components of electric vehicle. According to Tesla the battery pack costs 20% to 22% of the total vehicle cost. And there are different types of batteries available in market in different type of chemical composition. In battery electric vehicle the battery pack should be at least in a range of 20 kWh to 80 kWh. The battery pack is not a single cell. The battery back is the connection of number of small cells connected in series and parallel. For example, the Tesla Model S consists of 7014 lithium-ion cells, split in 16 modules with 6 groups. Each group consists of 74 cells. Each cell has a nominal voltage of 3 to 4 volts. 74 cells are wired in parallel, and 6 groups are then wired in series. Tesla started its journey with 60 kWh battery capacity. Then Tesla updated to 70, 75, 85, 90, and now it is providing 100 kWh battery capacity. If the capacity of the battery pack is increasing it automatically increases the weight of the battery pack. If we see the weight of the 85 kWh capacity battery pack is 540 kg and the weight of the 100 kWh battery pack is 625 kg. The dimensions of a single cell is of 18 mm diameter, 65 mm height. The battery pack is guaranteed for 8 years. Now next important component is motor. The major types of motors are AC motors and DC motors. DC motors give high torque at low RPM, and low torque at high RPM. AC motors can give high torque at high RPM, most of the electric vehicles use AC motors. There are different types of motors available in market. The motors provide the mechanical energy required for the movement of the vehicle. The motors are connected to the drive system using gear box or in some gear less vehicles the motors are directly connected to the wheels. By using a single electric motor we can provide power to two wheel drive vehicle. We can have front motor and rear motor to have all wheel drive. Now inverters or converters and motor controllers. The converters are mainly used in between the motors and batteries, and while charging they are used in between the charging plug and the battery pack. Actually AC to DC converters are used to convert the AC current to DC current. In the same way DC to AC converters are used to convert DC current to AC current. And there are converters which can work both ways. It can convert in both ways that is from AC to DC and DC to AC. As the batteries always provide DC current a converter should be placed in between the motor and a battery in order to provide the sufficient and specific type of current required for the motor. Motor controllers are used to receive the signals from the accelerator and uses that signal to determine how much electric power needed. 
In simple words, if the driver gives more acceleration, the motor controller provides more power to the motor. In the same way, when the driver slows down the vehicle, the motor controller provides low power to the motor. And the motor controllers plays major role in regenerative braking system. The controllers manages the regenerative braking system, as it recharges the battery. The battery management system is used to protect the battery. That is it helps the battery system to maintain at the correct temperature. If the battery pack is overheated the electronic system or battery management systems can give signal for the battery cooling system. The battery cooling system cools down the battery temperature to its assured value. And in the same way in winter if the battery pack is at very low temperature the heater can provide the assured temperature of the battery. The construction is very simple as shown in figure. We have battery pack connected to the converter. The motor connected to the differential. From differential the wheels can get the mechanical power. From the battery pack to motor the connection is only electrical connection. The mechanical connection starts from motor. In figure, rear wheel drive is shown with the rear motor. Just pause the video here and have a clear cut view of the construction of the vehicle. In this type of the electric vehicle there are very less moving components. So the mechanical losses will be very less. As there are very less moving parts there will be no sound generated. This is the simple construction of battery electric vehicle. And in next video we will see the constructions of other types of vehicles. Please let us know your opinion in the comment section. Your likes and comments helps me to recover the problems you are facing with videos. Thanks for watching the video till end and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Inside EV.